Greetings and welcome to another episode of Conquering Diabetes. Today we are going to talk about fruit. Is fruit okay for diabetic? I often see this. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that are saying that fruit is okay because it's a natural sugar. Plus, there are a lot of fruit that are low on the glycemic index. Um, however, I would like to put something out there. So I'm going to first say, always check your blood sugar. That's how you find out if fruit is going to be okay for you or not, if it causes a rise in your blood sugar. For some diabetics, their system can't differentiate between processed sugar and natural sugar. So your body is going to react the same way, no matter what, causing a spike and thereby causing damage. The liver is the organ that processes fructose. If you have liver damage, like fatty liver disease or cirrhosis, it's possible that fructose will just stay in your system, causing high blood sugar and damage. I say this because we saw this with my mom. My mom has end-stage cirrhosis, so her liver is at minimal working levels right now. Um, when she has fruit, even the lowest ones, even the lowest sugar ones, like strawberries and blackberries, her blood sugar will still go up. So she cannot have fruit. Um, now, people will also say, well, it's low on the glycemic index, but that also isn't very helpful for someone whose system has been damaged from the diabetes. What I like to do is I will look at the carb count and I will divide that by four to find out how many teaspoons of sugar that would be because carbs, as you know, turns into sugar or glucose in the system. So for instance, you've got bananas. A banana is 27 carbs. You divide that by four and you get about seven teaspoons of sugar. For a small apple, it's 25 carbs. That's about six teaspoons of sugar. Blueberries are a little bit less. One cup would be about five teaspoons of sugar. Raisins for a quarter cup would be seven teaspoons of sugar. Now, some fruits are lower, like watermelon and cantaloupe, but I would suggest treating them like you do every other food. Check your blood sugar afterwards to see how your system is handling it. Another question that I get when I suggest that you don't need fruit is, well, what about the nutrients? As far as I can tell, you can get the same vitamins and minerals in other foods that won't cause spikes, like meat, dairy, fat, and vegetables. And when I say vegetables, I'm talking about the cruciferous vegetables, the leafy greens, things like that. In my house, we don't eat a lot of those just because we get our nutrients from the meat. So the next question would be, well, what about fiber? Don't we need fruit to get the fiber? Well, again, if you're truly concerned about the fiber, eat the vegetables. They're going to not cause a spike and they have plenty of fiber. I do not believe that fiber is essential. I know you can look it up and they you'll find that a lot of sites say fiber is essential. But try to find studies that support that. Um, fiber does not do anything in your system except go through your system. That's it. If you're interested, check out Paul Mason, Dr. Paul Mason. He has several videos about how important fiber isn't. One other point is that there's this idea about eating your foods in a certain order to keep you from getting a blood sugar spike. Now, I have heard about this before. I've seen the studies. I've seen the research. I also hear them people saying, well, eat your fruit with a protein and fat, and that will keep it from spiking. I have plenty of documentation from working with my mom that did not work for her. And again, check it yourself. See yourself. Um, don't go by how you feel. If the meter says that your blood sugar is going up, it's the fruit. So um, anyway, I do think that the eating foods in certain in a certain order or eating the fruit with protein and fat might be able to work for some people. Again, it just didn't work for my mom. So here's the thing. If fruit is spiking your blood sugar, but you don't want to give them up, I can understand that because, you know, you might be saying to yourself, well, I had to give up 
you know, the carbs and I had to give up desserts and why should I have to give up fruit? I still love fruit. It's so delicious. I get it. However, if it's causing your blood sugar to go up, you know it's causing damage. Is the fruit truly worth the damage that's going on to your eyes, your kidneys, your toes, your feet, your heart? Is it worth your health? That's the question that you got to ask yourself. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and listening. Bye-bye.